Um, this is where I would introduce my co-host. My co-host for today is... Hi, my name's William Haywood. Hey, all right. Hey, hey, all right. How's it going, William? Hey, I'm doing good. That's awesome. I'm glad you're doing so well. So, uh, William, do you want to go ahead and break down the the list? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll break those down. So, the list here, we have Jeremy on the left. Jeremy is flying the Resistance. And we have Greer with Crack Shot Heroic Advanced Optics. Zari is the same. And uh, Lieutenant Bastion with BB-8 Integrated S-Foils and Jamming Beam. Gotta love that Jamming Beam. Finn with Heroic and Advanced Optics. And then we have Bucket, because we're not going to call him R1J5 with Feedback Array. And then on the right, we have the Rebels. Uh, Tenum Classic with Crack Shot Fire Control System Auto Blasters and S foils, and wha what are we getting? Defense dice. We already have an attack. Sorry, I'm getting. I got distracted. This wheel is on fire today. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Oh, that's Lando trigger. Lando crew, got it. Uh, all right, back back to Will. Will, what what what's the next thing? All right, so uh, we got K2SO with. Leia Organa and Lando Calrissian crew, which we just saw trigger there, <laughs> and Gavin, <laughs> Gavin Dreas with crack shot, uh, hull upgrade, and the S foils, and then Jake. Jake's just good. <laughs> yuck! 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 Uh, do, do I hear? Do I hear William Hagwood, the real William hey. Hagwood? Oh, there he is. <laughs> I, I did a really bad, really, really bad uh, William Hagwood impression. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was missing you. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm here now, though, and excited <laughs> to see these, this X-Wing action. All right. So uh, if you were playing Choose Your Champion, Will, who would you? which list would you like? Mm. That's going to be a tough one here. Uh, the Rebel, uh, I do like these Rebels, but nah, I'm, I got to go with the Rebels, man. They're all my favorite ships. Uh, you and Garvin and Garvin and Jake have been in so many of my Rebel lists lately because uh, I just think it's such good action economy. It's super good. And right, well, K2, I'm send, K2 I'm also sending likes you the, additional tokens. I'm sending you the, the overlay. So that you have the squad, and you could just go ahead and jump in the TTS room. I think I sent you uh -huh. the info for the TTS room. Maybe I didn't. Maybe did I send it again. I was having trouble getting in there. That was what was taking me a bit. Oh, okay. That will do it. Bam. Oh, I see. Bam. And then there, that's okay. the, the TTS info is on the, that document there. Perfect. Thanks. All right, so some people are asking to reopen the bets. Uh, I will go ahead and reopen it for maybe one more round. So the bets are open. If you didn't get a chance to wager those GSP points, here is your opportunity. I know I opened it up a little early. It's on an automatic timer, so I don't forget to turn it off uh, like I do. But here we go. We got some people getting their, getting their bets in there. Shout out to everybody in our community. This is going to be our last game for the night. Again, Flight Club is a three-round event every Saturday. But don't forget, we also do three nights. Uh, sorry, three nights. We also, I guess, yeah, this is true. We do three nights of uh, Gold Squadron podcast content live here for you Wednesdays. We have three games. We also have our podcast, which is starting a little bit earlier now, starting at 9 p.m. And um, we've been, we, we attempted, or not attempted, we did our very first return of Gold Squadron Mind Games. If you guys were a fan of that, we did that. That was awesome. Uh, please have a countdown timer. Oh, man, another thing for me to remember? Maybe. <laughs> uh, if, I, if I can remember. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, Mind Games. That was, that was interesting doing Mind Games on Monday, on, uh, on Monday night, Will. Yeah, it's a little awkward. Uh, luckily, I have experience commentating by myself. So the, because yeah. uh, you're kind of in a vacuum, just talking alone to yourself. At least uh, it was there was a difference between uh, like Marcel, Marcel, 
a forced conversation between us during it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, I think that affects it a little bit. Um, but yeah, me and Ryan were just off on our own, <laughs> off on our own booth talking to ourselves the whole game. So that was a little weird. But um, other than that, uh, I think it's interesting. Uh, I, I like the shorter games too because there's not uh, in some turns there's not a lot going on. Yep. So what we did uh, for anybody who's curious is we didn't play full games for Mind Games. Mm -hmm. We did uh, we did abbreviated games. Essentially, we played about 35 minutes. You got the first three to four turns in just in to to see that initial engagement. How would you approach this? But playing as if like not playing as if it is a shortened game, playing as if it was a normal game and just stopping it early. OK, so that we can talk about that that opening engagement uh, and just getting getting that, uh, you know, that experience there. Yeah, it turns out a lot of games are won or lost on the first engagement. Yep, exactly. And then also the value of, of hearing the players talk about their their asteroid placement and the placement of their ship. And that's something that a lot of players talk about and uh, and, and have questions a lot. Of, and I just look at it as an awesome learning opportunity. Uh, for our players. Now, in this matchup here, uh, Danko versus Ladrian, or sorry, Bill Herbert is Danko. And uh, these are, this is a, uh, a recruit level game. So, our, or basically, our, our, uh, our, our, not beginner level, but just people with maybe a little bit less experience and uh, who are looking for this game to be an opportunity for them to learn and have their play analyzed, Will. So, let's look at it from, uh, from that that perspective where this is us teaching them when they rewatch this game later on. Oh, it makes total sense. I mean, X-Wing is not an easy game to pick nope. up. It does take, uh, years sometimes to really, to really understand exactly what's going on. Uh, it looks like what's going on is, uh, firing line from these resistance. Yeah, they have a good path through the uh, through the asteroid. There you go. Uh, looks like Zari is going to be barrel rolling there. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, she's checking to basically trying to line up that two bank <laughs> into yep. the lane. I'm pretty sure, and trying to figure out what barrel roll best line set up. Uh, yeah, cause these uh, the the problem with rebels, they're kind of slow, not quick. Uh, B wing, B wing, and U wing. You, you have a good idea of where they're gonna be in a turn or two. Oh, barrel boost. That's what it was lining up. Okay, and it did it perfectly. So setting up that uh, that Zari A wing uh, to flank. Yeah, gonna do a little little Fort Zari behind Bastion for the rest of the game. Yeah. Uh, fast walk zero. Thank you for the compliment there. This is a uh, Lando trigger. My Lando can feel really good, but man, I cannot stand the variance on that card. That's why I've never, <laughs> ne never used it. That's why it's fun. That's why it's fun. <laughs> no, no, well, pain, it's, so it's, much it's pain. It's a little bit better if you're uh, fly it in Han Solo uh, Falcon. You can reroll Lando. That's fun. There you go. Use the cheater on the cheater. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I do like the Rebel uh, lineup, like I said. It has all the makings of uh, a good Rebel list. You have super efficient uh, ships between Jake, Garvin, and K2. Uh, and uh, Ten Nub as well uh, when he's doing linked actions for the stress and barrel roll. So it's uh, very, very interesting. He even has Leia in there too. Yeah, the the initiative for uh, so the, the restriction the didn't thing hurt. about K two is the calculate, um, and he's trying to solve this with Lando, basically. Um, but it it plays a, an additional role that you can Lando, and then Jake can give you a focus action, which I think is really powerful on K two because you can only take calculates, right. Because at that point, I, I prefer lock over calculate. That's very true. It's not going to do much. Um, sometimes you're one agility when you're pivoting. 
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that that pivot happens quite often. Like that is one of the utilities of the U wing is being able to do that. By the way, well, yeah. anybody out there? Anybody out there? Pick up the new Shadowfall book. The next uh, book in the um, Alphabet Squadron series. Started reading it today. Super good. It's getting me even more uh, pumped for for squadrons. Which, by the way, we will be having squadrons content. We're still in the process of deciding how we want to go about it. Um, yes, it's out. It came out a couple days ago. Um, it's called Shadowfall. Still deciding how we want to go about it. We will be streaming for sure. Uh, but there's a couple of different ideas right now. Uh, just trying to figure it out. But yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, let me know in the it chat. Are you like pumped for squadrons? Fun. I know we are. It sounds like, like a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's... Uh, we've been... Um, what do I want to say? I have uh, such low expectations from their previous works that... Man, someone's, uh, it's got to it's gotta be good this time, right? <laughs> That's right. Come on. Well, it's also it's a it's like not EA directly making making it right. It's That's it's true. uh it's motive, so should yeah. be good. Uh, and what I was gonna say here is for for the rebels, this I four limitation uh, isn't really a limitation for them because they can still fit <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so many great so many great no, tools a, in there. Uh, you asked you're asking people about um. Uh, I force, yeah, and yeah, I would I would fly something almost almost identical to this and um, in rebels. Yep, like when, for sure. When I was uh, assigning the factions, I I had a really hard time deciding. It's like, where am I really going to give somebody rebels? Like that's just. But I mean, to be fair, I had to put it out there as an option. So. Um, I did see, as a note, most people gravitated for. Uh, the uh, just every everyone be initiative four, um, yes. except for this resistance squad. Yeah, I noticed that as well. It's like, oh, what's the ceiling four? Let's go. Well, also yeah, four fours. Let's do this. <laughs> the the for Jeremy, he's bringing the synergy of like you you don't have a resistance list like this and don't bring Finn right. Like it's just way too good to leave out. Um, I'm a little bit surprised by Bucket being in the list. Like, I think you could have used those points and spread them out to some other places, but that works as well. Gets you five ships. A-wings are good. And uh, Bastion, obviously being at Initiative 2, can fire after Finn and two of those A-wings and hopefully pick up that lock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you need... Uh, that's. I agree. Uh, if you're bringing Bastion... He better be the last person shooting. So I'm not sure why it can just be a Colossus out there. Yep. Um, have more. What do I want to say? Like one of those uh, healing droids. Uh, we saw yeah. in, uh, the Jedi matchup. Get one of those R fives out there, or R fours. I think they're R fours, aren't they? Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, but overall, I mean, he's he's out there. I think as a blocker. Uh, he. With Bucket's ability to look at his available cards first, he's much more prone to slamming and shooting. Yep. I will say the the I mean, just like we have K two, uh, Bucket's also a droid, uh, but has option of evade or calculate. Yeah. I feel like I'm always taking that evade, right? Like, why are you wasting your time with calculate? Every, every time. You know, Will, I was thinking, this is completely unrelated to this game. It's more about the squadron stuff because it's okay. something that's been on my on my mind recently. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that's emphasized in that game is teamwork, right? So I sure. think some of the people who are going to be the best are the people who can play with the same people all the time. And mm -hmm. I, I know we, mm -hmm. we have a group yeah, of four. Get your squad up. Right? We have a group of four, sure. yeah. and we're, we're going to be able to plan. But that fifth person is a wild card. And like, <laughs> no, man. We have, like we I, we hold we hold some sort of um, uh, like an audition or something. <laughs> yeah, a competition. <laughs> we uh, we have we stream competitive people, and the winner uh, of it all 
Uh, he gets Get to be on it officially. The oh, oh there. Bucket hits that rock. No, Bucket. What? Why? No. That's all bad. Especially if K2 is going to turn in right there. That's all bad. All right. Rolls the crit. E. Yeah, we didn't see a Leia charge, so they're... Yeah, that's real bad. And what is the crit here? It, it is a council fire. That's bad. That's a hurt ship bleeding now already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Before uh, the rebels have even shot uh, any attacks. Well, maybe Rock, it'll be a MVP valuable right distraction. Now. I uh, maybe <laughs> so, so none of your other nice ships are shot at. Oh, and a bump here from this is a rough turn, rough turn for Jeremy positioning wise. Yeah, I'm not sure why he just didn't cut out with uh, bucket, like maybe hard one or in one bank. Well, Bastion should be still be able to pick up a target lock, right? Oh, no. No Fort Zare. This is a strategic coming in for the block, maybe? So if you can block K2, you could potentially also block Jake. All right, what's Zori going to do? He's, he's double-checking. He's really thinking about that linked action. Now, I am surprised that we didn't see Zari go around the asteroid the other way. I think maybe Jeremy might be leaning in a little bit too much into the ability. Mm, All right, so Zari I'm... is the you don't skip your perform action step after partially executing a maneuver? I mean, it does make him an excellent uh, knife fighter. Who doesn't oh, get the block though? Oh my goodness! Wow! Look! Look at how close this was. Like, oh, feels bad. I thought it surely blocked the two bank and hard two. That does feel bad. So, is he going to Lando or coordinate? There's so many things you could coordinate right now. <laughs> Think of all the things, Dion. <laughs> all, all the Jake, options. Coordinate Jacob Barrel Roll and give someone else a focus. I mean, you can do all the things. Get so the size to do the Lando takes the evade. Well, I mean, you probably do have a Zari shot coming in on you. So, fair enough. I mean, should get a focus token at some point in time, right? Between Garvin and Jake. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. I will say that the the resistance needs to needs to realize what the rebels are doing, that they they're essentially protecting Tim. Tim's the real heavy hitter in this list. Everyone else is uh, if you notice a support ship. Yeah. Uh, and that tin is <laughs> that tin could be putting out some serious damage. Uh, with the auto blaster being uncancelable, the resistance doesn't have a lot of health. Bastion's the most healthy one at seven. Like healthy as in HP wise. Health points. Who is that coming around? Greer? It's able to arc dodge Garvin. Trying to line up a shot on Tim, no about that. Darwin going for a lock. Assuming that Jake will be able to give him a focus with maybe a two forward boost or something.
All right, and 10 nub. Barrel roll, baby. Ooh. Barrel roll all day, right? Get that shot. I don't know if you can fit that barrel roll because you have to barrel roll then lock. So if you that barrel roll left doesn't fit. That's very true. You're just sitting there, no mounts. I mean, you just focus. You could focus barrel roll, but then you're only shooting once. Good players here, double checking all yeah. of his ten options here. They did get a lot of. Yeah, uh, he has a, a ton. New, uh, yeah, they, uh, is, the whole S foils is two two full paragraphs on what else B wings can do now. So, ooh, oh, oh, completes it. Wow, uh, with did, the forward got there. It? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna link it to the red lock and be able to shoot. Uh, twice. It doesn't look like he lined up the bullseye for his crack shot and auto blaster, but still, two solid shots onto that A wing. Go ahead. What's this Jake got on him? Anything? Sorry. Nothing. No, but the skin is irritated. Just make sure she doesn't get a scar on her face. Thank so this is what I was talking about that uh oh, he could have gone and barrel rolled to Garvin and gave him a focus. But I think he's just gonna They don't. Hey, you want to Alright, we're gonna get a little analysis from Arwen as she goes to bed. So what 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 should the people not do, Arwen? The people should not um Fly in to the those red things, um, because um, it will hurt the ships and it will hurt the people. That's right. She's an ace. I'm telling you. All right. Good night, baby girl. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you too. Mwah. <laughs> Time to go. Good night. <laughs> They're saying good night, yeah. Where's my name? <laughs> All right, time to go. Where's my, where's my, my name? I'll show you later. Okay, so here we go. What's what's this attack, Will? Sorry about the distraction, uh, everybody. Is, no, no worries. It's adorable. Uh, this is Greer uh, shooting with advanced optics. It looks like into Ooh. ten nub range one. Get some shields. Uh, I think that's focus might just accept his death here. But we'll see. Um, yeah. Dude, hit, hit, crit. Um, to, so, I mean, uh, to takes it three shields, but that's, that is some risky business going all out. Like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's going to be tough. <laughs> if, uh, J just roll Natty, it's fine. Got Leia. Yeah, they, yeah, this. Yeah. Uh, so this is what I'm saying. I think I think Zari might actually take that shot on ten as well, uh, just because he's okay. an easier target to hit. I think he's gonna start with ten nope here first. Do the first, most exciting shot. Two hits, two blinks. He's got the lock, but he needs to roll fire control system for, so he can shoot twice. Alrighty. Yeah, let's decide on whether he's he's not gonna fire control system. No, nope, that's incorrect. Uh does, doesn't need him, apparently. Nope. <laughs> yeah, he might be, be confused under, on the, the, the ruling fact that he there. Spin the lock. Yep. So that's gonna be half points immediately, right? And then he's following up with the auto blaster here. Uh, three dice attack at range one. And he still has that stress on him. So he can modify the eyeballs. Mm. 
And no bullseye. bullseye. But it will be three dice because it's range one. Yep, that is true. You should get the range bonus. Yep. Do you want to let him know? Yeah, I just... Oh, yeah. There you go. Did they see it? Just trying to convey. There you go. Yeah, so I just roll that one die. Yep. So and this was a, this was a focus, right? Hit. Yep, that's what it says in the chat. Give him a ding. Yep, and then Ting can spin that eyeball for stress. So the reason the cannons get the range one bonus is that they do not have the missile icon. The missile icon um, that would be in that next to its attack dice and its range is what yep. prevents the range bonus. Uh, this is a common confusion, uh, especially with players who used to play first edition, because uh, mm -hmm. like what we used to call secondary weapons didn't oh, get. Yep didn't get uh, range bonuses. Right. So then he can, is he not going to spin that stress? He might have just said it. Actually, I have a tape of Mike. I don't know why I have it off. <laughs> then I would be able to hear what they're saying. I thought he started to pull it off. Oh, I'm very confused by that. That should be a dead Greer and an unstressed Tindum for sure. But All we're right, moving let me, on. Let me, let me ask Don. Okay, hold on. Let, let, let me jump in there. Give me give me a second. Turn off. Okay. Turn off. Turn off no my problem. jams. Here and target lock. I'll take it like that for two. Hey, hey guys! Quick question. Yes. Um. So I know that we had missed the uh, the range bonus on the on the auto blaster, and I reminded you. But on your or in your initial attack, you had spent the stress on ten nub to I didn't convert. I think I could I could use it because um, it's auto blasters. I thought you couldn't modify it. No, oh, of course you can. There's there's okay. no. Well, then. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, I missed it, so I'll let it let it go. I mean, technically okay. it should have been three, but yeah, I mean we missed it during that point, so I don't want to. That would have a dramatic effect because that would wipe out that ship. So I made the mistake. Okay, cool. All right. Thanks, well, this Dion. is Appreciate this is it, what man. Flight Club is for, right? Learning. That's right. <laughs> That's right. All right. Keep on, right. keep on hanging out. All right. So for. All right. All we right. got it cleared up. So yeah. So the confusion no, the there was work. was some misunderstanding about whether or not you could modify the dice for that auto blaster shot, and yes, you can. Which may have also been maybe the reason why we didn't see the fire control system either. But uh, but yeah, so nope, now we know it. It uh, it's certainly all. Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot of moving parts. Um, oh yeah. But it is like how it. It's a pretty standard ten num build out there if you're trying to double shoot. Yeah, and that, that's uh, anyways, why like, that looks like it, a. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say like when it comes to these recruit level games, this is like what 
My number one thing is just to make sure that we're not letting people miss those triggers as much as possible and letting them know because this is their opportunity to learn. So for anybody who's watching oh, in the sure. future, especially especially our, 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 our fam on YouTube who don't necessarily watch live, just so you guys understand the reasoning why. Because this is the stuff sometimes we talk about in between games. But here we go. We got a shot here. Ooh. Hit, crit, crit. This is from Jake. Looks like he's shooting range one into Zari. Um, that's real bad. Uh, just one evade. Half. Yeah, dice could, did get knocked over there. Hope they're not confused by that. No, they oh. called it right. All good. All good. Ooh, that's rough. Um, so both A wings are already halved. Turns out they're good at running away, though. So yes, they're very good. They have, they have that that back <laughs> that back arc. So, do we think Zari's going into uh, into ten num? It does. It is range yeah. two. Yeah, I'm not bothering with Garvin, uh, and K 2s has the evade. So I, I would take that cheap shot in ten. I Let's mean, see. I think I think I heard him call K two S O. The only caveat would be that you are giving him a chance to spin that stress now. Ooh, uh, it looks like he's going range one. Yep, yeah, that's range one into K two. Mm, could be Garvin. I didn't see. It's we'll K two. Oh, okay. I heard him. I have the table mic actually on now for myself. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Helps. It's debating whether or not to spend the evade. There's no reason not to. Yeah, Finn had already spent his focus token, so uh, there's not too many more shots coming in on him. Spence evade. All right. So did he use crack shot there? Is that what we just saw? Yep, uh, crack shot as well. Yep. So should end up taking two. Yep, two shields down. Finn obstructed range two. Uh, this is funny that Finn could add a blank for gas clouds. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Never thought about that. All righty. Three hits. Uh, no, it didn't roll. There you go. It, yeah, That's it, didn't, a roll. it didn't count the roll. There it goes. Uh, it's hit and two eyes. Uh, K2's got no modifiers there. Just get get that one evade. You got it. I mean, he can add the blank, so like it doesn't. Oh, this is literally doesn't matter. <laughs> it, do, it it doesn't matter. So, I'm ca like, I kind of wish it would happen. Learning opportunity. There. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that's a cute trick, Finn. Finn's got it. this is a Finn without perceptive co-pilot. Is that right? It's very true. Yeah, he opted for the optics. I don't know what to think about that. I like the focus and the optics. Double modifying is much better than single modifying. By twice the amount, Dion. <laughs> Times two. <laughs> we maxed here on Gold Squadron, guys. <laughs> Alright, looks like this is a Bastion. Hit crit. Into probably K2. As Jake Stool's got his focus token out there. K2 is the Leia carrier, so it makes sense. Uh, that's priority target. Yeah. Uh, gets nothing. Does that crit fall through then? Hitting a crit, get through. Yeah, and a card a going into K2SO. Yep, uh, that was a range 2 shot as well, so this should trigger a target lock for Bastion. Bastion, Bastion I love Bastion. Bastion. His first edition fire control system, beautiful. Shoot at something, get a target lock. Let's take a look, see what the crit is. Oh. It was a crit, right? Flip it. Direct hit. Ooh. Were too many dice rolled.
Wait, say that, say that again, Will. Sorry, you got cut off there when I when I went to the table cam. Uh, so yeah, Bastion should get locked there. Oh, uh, Bastion had not one but two opportunities to get a lock there, and I don't think he did either one. Uh... Oh, they're moving on with shots. Looks like Finn's gonna get two eyeballs. And that already spent his focus on defense. Wings are closed. I don't see any closed wings. What are you talking about, people? What are these people what? talking about? Ghost They're teams? saying that the wings are closed. Uh, his card is, but his... So, are we talking about Bastions? Yeah, Bastions. Uh, his uh, card and wings are closed. That is correct. Did Bastion fire? Yeah, just fired three dice at K2. That's so. Uh, did he do damage? Was that is he the one that, that had the crit mm -hmm. out there? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got to roll that back. Sorry, I was trying to fix something else on my side. All right, be right back. Well, I guess you guys will still hear me. Will, you want to jump in there with me? Hey, guys. Sorry, something else. The uh, Another an, a small mistake, and today's all about learning. Um, mm -hmm. so Bastion had his wings closed when he performed his attack against K2SO. Uh, oh, sure yep. Yeah. Yeah. Both his token and card say closed. Yeah. Yep. So we should have had one less dice. So what do we yeah. do? Reroll that engagement? Just, yeah, yep. reroll. Just reroll the whole attack. Okay. Sure thing. So that was range two. Mm -hmm. so and did you guys have any tokens at, at that, at that moment? I had none. Nope, I have no, 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 and no, I'm no. unmodified too. Yep. Okay. And it, it it was uh, hit crit and so direct damage. So um, K2 cool. would have a shield at this point in time. Yep. Um, okay. But the other attack can still happen. Just yep. Just see if this attack changes anything. Then we'll fix it. Yeah. Yep. yep. Gotcha. Okay. So there you go. <laughs> uh, changes a lot. Yep. So, so just so, uh, so put all those damage three... cards back, and K2 will lose the shield from the second attack. Okay, so let's see. I'll put them back in order because this is the last one. Uh, you can just you can just put them back put and shuffle them. Okay. Yeah, because you, you hadn't drawn any other cards. It's no worse. Things like that happen. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thank you. Okay. Yep, awesome. Fix that. Thank all you. Right. No problem. Back to the all closet. Right. <laughs> All right, back to the dungeon. So apparently, somebody's tagged me here in the in the chat and said apparently it's literally the der the derpities first day playing X Wing, not new to the stream, but first day in the game. What? Nice. Welcome, welcome to the club. I'm here to ch cheer on my bro Ladrian. Well, welcome. You are you are part of the fam. You've been indoctrinated. <laughs> um, John, I feel like we're I feel like we're being biased now towards Bill. Are we? No. You think so? <laughs> no, that was sarcasm. Uh, oh, okay. We are just trying to keep the uh, the the game state. There's one thing of like a missed trigger we saw earlier. Um, it yeah. just had the opportunity and was uh, did not use a May ability. Uh, rolling dice is pretty steep. Yeah. Um, and, and as far as uh, a correction, it is always a weird thing, Dion, when uh, when someone's like rolls an extra evade dice, but rolls yeah. three blanks. You know what I mean? Like yeah, you, that can feel. You can bad. figure out the first two dice results that he would have rolled. You know what I mean? Because oh yeah, he rolled all the dice, but so. Do do you roll that back? You know I, what I mean? Always, always just reroll it. Good, bad, or ugly. I know it feels bad, but you got to be consistent you, across you, all the dice. You know what the first two dice you rolled were? Because there were right. two blanks. Because all those you, dice were blanks. But, but it only feels that way because it's not <laughs> beneficial to you in that moment if your opponent rerolls the dice. Is... Um. So that's why I'm consistent up. about it. I I reroll it. Good, bad, or ugly if it's too many. No matter what. Uh, what's going on here, Dion? How, uh... 
What's wrong? Oh, we had, we, oh wait. K2 hit a couple undues K- mistakenly. Yeah. When, when in reverse, like a bit. So he's just redoing his maneuvers. He didn't bump anybody, so it should be. Yep. Just a little, little electric boogaloo. No no big deal. Just a little dancing around over That's there. Right. A little shake, shake and move. That's keep, right. Keep the resistance <laughs> on their toes. I uh, assume we're going to see some shaking and moving here. Um, this is a prime Leia turn. Oh, yeah. Like it's oh, screaming. Yeah. K turns, flipped it, dips, all of it. Sloops. Oh, man. I do love slooping Jake and then barrel roll boosting him. Where is that ship even going to be? Uh, I don't think I think this loop just nicks that asteroid though, so that's going to be a problem. X, you're um, all welcome. Welcome uh, to Gold Squadron. You're cheering on your buddy Jeremy. He's having a good time. He's learning. He's playing some X-wing. That's that's all we can ask for. Oh man. Now, for anybody who's out there, if you're not part of our Discord, uh, come on over. Type exclamation point Discord in the chat or click the link in the description down below if you're watching later on YouTube. Uh, it's a great place to hang out with uh, people who are part of the Gold Squadron community. We uphold the same standards we have here on chat. Uh, things stay nice and civil. And if you're not civil, you're not welcome. <laughs> essentially how that works out but if you want to come and uh just talk about x-wing ask advice for squads you want to sub- make submissions uh that we can talk about on the podcast we do lists of the week questions of the week uh, all kinds of stuff there on the discord it's also where we do a lot of our first announcements for uh, our event series that we put out all kinds of things that happen there also if you're a patron don't forget to connect your patreon to Discord, that way you get your patron role. There are a couple of uh, exclusive rooms for patrons only where uh, sometimes I, I post some of the goods in there, some of the secret sauce. So don't forget it. I'm digging, I'm digging these guys uh, about... What what they miss? Oh no, Bucket still did the damage on the last one. We just distracted them. Um, so uh, the last the last attack that uh, at the after Bastion, the I one. Got it. Um, they completed before we in- got interrupted. What? Oh yeah, and console so the fire. console fire. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna flip this token. K two, K two should be shields down. Yep. And just make sure we have that cleared up there. Yep, we're good. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do it. That attack definitely happened. Nope. Yep. Right, well. Anyways, it's obvious. It, His shields so, are down, know. right? Yeah, the bucket did one damage, and K two rolled two blanks. Yeah, telling you. I see it in the log. Uh, we just distracted him. Yep. Um. Anyways, I tried. Yep. Uh. <laughs> the uh. So Dium, obviously yep. around. Okay. K two's got the stop. What are you trying to do with these resistance ships to get out of this? So you know that there's likely K turns coming. Uh, I want my my A wings. Let's see. I've lost. Yeah, half on both A wings. Right half now. on both A wings. Uh, if you're taking right, shots, no, I think one took a damage card actually. If you're taking wanna... shots, um, Greer should I mean, be at one health. Greer should be at one. But yeah, there, that's it's not very much health. Mm. I mean, obviously, Greer. I don't, can do I don't the know rear if I, I don't know if I like taking shots if I'm. Uh, Greer. Uh, Gre- Greer needs to get out. He needs to do a three bank yeah. focus boost, and not worry about taking, sh- not not worry about shooting this turn. See if he can get a different angle. What do you mean? He's Greer. Free rotate. Oh, he's Greer. It's free. It's free, baby. It's free. I'm sorry, forget. <laughs> Look at this coupon. <laughs> coupon for a free. <laughs> yeah. One free rotate. Um, can do it while stressed as well. Very interesting. Rarely see a K turn 
and then like rotate forward or something. But it's an option. It's in the playbook. Zara is interesting. You probably need to just turn out and like focus rotate. Alright, you could just hard two. I don't think it's gonna get you a shot though. Like hard two into K2. Yeah. Problem is that Zara's blocking a lot of movers for the Fireball, X Wing, and Pod behind him. Oh, looks like we got the layer charges being flipped. Flip to dip. I mean, Leia's just so good. So now here's a here's a mm -hmm. here's a question for you. Um, compared to Resistance Leia, Rebel Leia is significantly cheaper. Different functionality, right? Resistance Leia you can use every only turn, works. but only on one yeah. ship. Like, do we think? Yeah, the only the only works every third turn is kind of a big bummer. You know what I mean? Yep. And because like, I've less, seen people less argue, less likely to be abused. Right, I've seen people argue that Resistance Leia is too expensive, and I I don't know. I think the individual like moment when the when Rebel Leia triggers has a is really powerful, but those single triggers on on Resistance Leia really do add up. Yeah, I fully agree. I've seen uh, like a it's it's hard to put Leia on Ray um, mm -hmm. because they are, you only get one force back per round. But if you put that <sighs> Leia on somebody else, um, you could trigger uh, Sloop every round, White Sloop every round. What is this first edition? Uh, looks like we have a slam over the rock. I think he's trying to block Garvin's Talon roll. Going for it. All right. I like the aggressiveness there. Takes a strain. Maybe he can make it uh, right. make it hurt. Let's see. Yeah, because Garvin's going to hit that gas cloud if you 4Ks. So it's a pretty predictable three Talon roll right there. And it's also going to force K2 um, to either rotate... And shoot uh, one of these A wings, or take the free shot on bucket. That's right. Kind of might like kind of sp spraying the fire a little bit. Yeah, forcing them to make decisions. I mean, if K two's got that stop, I'm I'm just target locking them for sure. I'll take that bait. <laughs> Three mm -hmm. health, two agility ship with no mons, and sure. strained. Well, uh, one, one agility, agility ship. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking that bait. Those A wings, I'll find another day. And plus, it's a white stop, right? So you get to do an action because of the layout. Yeah, target lock. Always better than calculate, you know. Profits, Every day. Obviously. All right, so we do get the Bastion flip here. We had corrected them. He's got, he's got the token and everything, man. I mean, sometimes, man, I've been that person. I have totally not seen a giant card, a giant token. I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. I've been that person. Uh, we've all been there. Many a times. I have oh my god, I I especially find a new list. These uh, were uh, you you gave them options. Now here's a question for you about that. Mm -hmm. uh, this being our recruit level, uh, mm -hmm. are these factions they're familiar with or unfamiliar with? Um, do you know that? I don't know. I gave them. I guess I didn't ask. I probably should have. Uh, mm. But yeah, so I'm making the recruits fly goofy stuff. Hey, listen, listen. Sometimes <laughs> this is how <laughs> you learn. Hey, yeah, you gotta throw in it, be thrown in the deep end if you're really gonna swim good. Yep, and it also I gotta I gotta make sure I keep the twists coming. Ooh, I what is that a sloop? I never see these a wings do those things. What is this? Well, they don't normally do them because they're stressed. He didn't he didn't get the layout charge. No. <laughs> So I think the sloop there is the the intent is to make sure you have a shot. I'm not sure why we undo Sarah. Because uh, he's stressed. He focus boosted last round. Oh, that's too wide forward. Yeah. That is that is something. Oof. That's gonna have the resistance here. Yeah, because you don't need the sloop. It does keep him in the fight. I see what he's trying to do. You right? Right. Keep keeps him in knife fighting like how Zari do. 
Uh, doesn't look like he will be doing much of anything. Um, uh, he can't do an action because it's white. Yeah, it is white. That's tough. <laughs> I see some pain in the chat, some nose, some sad faces. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, this That's is right, the clutch round. Uh, do you own that uh, in every engagement? You know what I mean? After yep. first initial shots, uh, the pass of the joust, always so crucial. Okay, looks like... Not sure. This is the first attack here. Hmm? We're attacking? No, it's uh, Stop uh, Lando. Stop Lando, okay. Two of eights. He's going to re-roll that one because it fell out of the box. What Just an evade. Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm loving... locking there. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I was about to say. He's like, I, well, here's, why would here's you the take other thing, the risk? Here, here's why. Uh, you have a Bastion and a Finn shot, and you're out of shields. So a nice focus evade there could would have been real nice. It's just so risky, risky business. See, and bump the there. bump there, ooh, because he didn't have enough space. Excuse and that's not Zari. That's so, uh, I mean, it still gets a shot on K two. So that's nice. It's too Maybe late we'll to save Zari. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Or great. <laughs> depend, depend the on memes. when you were alive in the 90s. <laughs> so, right. Jake pulls off the 5K oh. without bumping. Oh, my. Get a magnifying glass on that. Check that out. Right there. Yeah, he did hit the rock. Yep. It says right in the chat. Jake appears to have overlapped a mine or obstacle yep. token. Asteroid number one. He even calls it out. Yep. Man, TTS is so good. Love it. So no stress. Also no action. And now rose for damage. Do uh, we get yeah. that shield? Is it sacrificed to the asteroid gods? Not today. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it was real close. But... You gotta just trust in TTS. It's the ultimate tiebreaker. Except for bullseyes lately, Dion. You have been noticing that? that was a, yeah, they've been, been a little weird. those pink lines I like to see on the bullseye. Right? All right, so what else we got here? This is a white three bank from 10. I was already stressed. Yep. Ooh, an RJ. R1, J5 found himself in a kill box real fast. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, see, here's Garvin. the thing. If the maneuvers would have been different, this would have been a, an amazing block opportunity. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, ooh, and he doesn't even get the block because Garvin's just three banking. And takes the boost to, to get out of the arc. So yep. yeah, this the, this set of moves definitely goes to uh, to Bill. Yeah. Yeah, he's got his. You, uh, I don't know if you can see it on the can you see on the stream. Yeah, you can see the the big old tokens right in front of uh, Garvin's card there. S four is closed. He didn't link it though. No, he doesn't have any shots coming in. He's not worried. Oh, that's fair. Save the stress. Leave it at home. Yeah, here we go. Never rolling dice. Can't Garvin. Hit crit. So who's up first here? Greer? It's ground to K2. Mm hmm. Two dice evade. That's nice. Gonna need it. S spends it. I'm getting crit and halved. Whoa. Which should give Bastion a lock. <laughs> for that beautiful range one he's well, got. Uh, shout out to Board Game Geek twenty five. Board Game Geek TV rating with a party of ninety four. Hello, 
Board Game Geek, how's it going? And what was that crit? Was it a direct hit? It came back. It was a direct. It came <laughs> so back. Once, once. So this is now the fourth time. The fourth time Bastion has his ability to trigger on K2. The ship he's shooting. <laughs> missing every time. I guess more than the next swing. All right. So we'll he's go ahead an opportunist, and. Opportunistic analysis. This is the calmest raid I've ever I've ever seen. It's so it's so quiet and polite. <laughs> yeah, Nickel City just said it in the chat. <laughs> what? We got raided by Board Game Geeks. Uh, oh, t nice. Their their Twitch channel, which is awesome, but they're they're so quiet. They're just like Thanks, they just kind of rolled up in. It's like, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Well, Welcome um, to Gold Squadron. Yeah, we're doing Fight Club. All right, going into ten nub. Range one, 10 does have a stress, so he has the ability to modify any focus results into hits. Making sure to take that range bonus. No lock, so there's not going to be any double tap here from 10 nub. And you can no, spend. Get some eyeballs, though. Yep. The strain is out there, so the R1J5, a.k.a. Bucket, doesn't get anything. Takes two, and I think uh, he's one away from kicking the bucket. Eh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, you like that? That's fair. Yeah, and K2's got a pretty good shot on him. <laughs> the dad jokes are strong. Very strong. <laughs> and K2SO range one trying to finish off bucket and that most likely will do he, natty. you know, you know it would have been two. nice if he had a lock though to guarantee it well he went with the evade uh, looks like bucket gets just one and takes a crit that's and he's enough. out of there Draw some fire, try to get a block. Daywings didn't die this round, so. And they haven't died yet. So right now, score on the board, 28 to 74. And uh, we are, we, Nathan Squadron is requesting Fs in the chat for, uh, for the, 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 for the bucket, the cute little droid, so go ahead and uh, please do so. Yep, first, first loss of the game. Do you think Bucket had a soul? Remember that? Oh, oh. Skippy. Hold on, I got to put some Skippies in the chat for that. Who here? Who here? I mean, Skippy, man, we talked about that such a long time ago. <laughs> who, who here yeah. in the chat was here for the Skippy talk? Anybody? We'll I mean, Isophane, I know that. <laughs> But it's I mean, you gotta be ago. you gotta be old school for Skippy if you know we talked about Skippy <laughs> on the right, channel. This is Lieutenant Bastion who didn't need those target locks he missed because he rolled all paint. Oh, it's really Oof. gonna hurt K two who's only got three hole left. Uh, no, um, no hole left, sir. No <laughs> hole left. <laughs> After uh, that shot, uh, takes all four and leaving. Yeah, so I got one one lay of use, a couple of aids from Lando, but no K two abilities. Never took a stress token. Nope. Never stopped or anything. Never coordinated. Oh, Jude Allen ninety one. I knew. Yeah, that never happened. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
the cards in your heart. Uh, we did a bunch of emotes. We did. You remember? Yeah, if you got skippy emotes, you better, you know who you are. Yep. And that, that's why, like, it's the highest level, and so many people don't know, don't know what it, what it's from. It, go go back in our archives and look up the video. <laughs> look up the video. Uh, Do droids have souls? There's our discussion. Do droids have I, souls? I, 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 I want to trust and believe that. Um, Here, I'll find I'll find low, the video. I'll even bucket. link it in the chat. <laughs> uh, I trust that RJ or R1, J5, and K2 are uh, just ghosting it up out there. That's right. Here we go. It is in the chat. Oh my gosh! I'm just looking looking at the at the clip of the video. It's on mute right now. How far we have come. Uh here's do you uh do you want do you want to know a throwback deal? Go ahead. Uh, H's and S's for health and shields or hole and shields. Oh my god. Do you know what I'm yes. talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's 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 coming a long way, Dion. Oh man. What is Dion's favorite peanut butter? Jif peanut I butter? Think that, I think that's a nut butter question. Peanut butter all is kind of the same, right? I mean, like, Skippy Skippy, and Jif don't taste the same. They, taste, they have slight, slight changes. I prefer Jif. I like crunchy Jif on a, on a, you know, as a treat. I can't get it too often, though, because I'll just start scooping it into my, into my mouth. It's like, I don't know. Like things that you scoop. I, I, don't, I don't have an analogy for that one. That's it. I'm trying to think of... Man, it's not called Jerry's. Jacob's? Man, somebody makes some delicious almond butter. Almond butter? I've never had almond butter. You're missing out. You gotta, you gotta uh, step up your nut butter game. Sun is there? Such, I feel like I I heard I saw in a movie like sunflower butter, like sunflower seed butter. Oh yeah, you get Brazil nut, you can get uh, pecan or pecan, walnut, you get all kinds of butters, man. Wow. Well, I I will say that I had almost um, counted out the resistance there um but they crawled their way back this turn uh capitalizing on a couple shots into k2 taking them off the board without losing too much grew still at one it doesn't look like finner and bastion has taken any damage from jake shot there All right, looks like dials are set. <laughs> Here we go. Looks like we got a uh, little tactical bump there. Hoping that both uh, Bastion and Jake maybe uh, overlap here and Finn doesn't get any any shots. Yeah, I like that. Bastion, I mean, Finn's a little bit more defensive, but Bastion's a big gun. You got to get that out shooting. Mm hmm. He's also in a better position to block 10 here. Uh, yep, taking that focus, hoping hoping to get the uh, target lock set up, get that fully modified shot. Yeah. Uh, no, Drake, uh... yeah, Jake is stressed. No, Leia. Why is oh, stressed? Leia, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Leia, the so power good. of the princess. So good. 
Yeah, because look at Leia's or uh, look at Jake's barrel boost after that 5k as well. Oh, beautiful. Would have been amazing. Looks like Zara's coming around here. Focus boost, as you do. Mm -hmm. I believe all these A-Wings have optics. Who doesn't have optics for the resistance? Optics is uh, just Bastion. good. Bastion. Is it, though? It was one of the worst upgrades in first edition, and now... Uh, <laughs> the price uh, is right it, now, man. The price is right. No, it's the exact same price. It was two points, now it's four points. The difference is... Uh, you couldn't put it on turrets before. No, you can't. True that. All right, so and like a bump there. A, yeah, this was a hard one, so he gets the stress token to modify his dice. That's oh, look, good look at that my, my action there. I didn't get. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, Jake jumps in front. Look at that. Mm -hmm. little, little Jake Lands sandwich. Right in this, uh, Ryan and Killbox, he... that barrel out's not going to do much for him because I don't think he can barrel backwards and boost around the rock. Nope, he doesn't I mean, have the boost on, forward he's either. He's got a shot on Greer. Trade A wing for A wing. Yeah, I think that's the call. But of course, Tin could just do that. He said he's going to try oh, to barrel wow. to the right. That'll give him a focus if it fits. Yeah, if you go backwards, you could probably arc touch Finn. As long as you're... Barrel right. No, he's trying to barrel roll left. Is he trying to barrel roll right? No, he he's trying all three that. all three of the right positions. Oh, like in towards Bastion? No, yep. that's not going to fit. No. I mean, I guess that makes sense. But uh, would have been cool. I see what he was doing there. All right. Oof. Garvin takes K turn. And takes a strain. No, that was a rock. He's taking Oh, that damage. was a rock. Excuse me. I'm so yeah, used to all these gas clouds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's also got his wings closed, too. So oh. saw that on both sides here. It's it's so easy to for, forget about. I'm just I'm just gonna get my hand ready, just in case. For what? Okay. Sorry, I'm just for I'm shooting. listening into the conversation. I'm just making sure. Oh. I mean, I don't, that's done on anything. purpose because you're certainly not boosting while you K turn. Not right. Leia did. Uh, now, the T70s, though, on the other hand, they actually get to get all of their dice when the opponent's in the bullseye. But, yeah, so, so, T65. Looks like we're starting with Greer. Yeah, Greer on to Jake. Optics for three hits. Going big. Trying to put in he's some only, pain. He, yeah, he's got he's got one health and two shots on him. Three shots, counting Garvin. That'll be three dice. No mods here for Jake. Taking two half points on Jake. Yeah, it's going points. And uses the crack shot to push another Ooh. one through. I mean, that's smart. Crack shot. Like, crack like shot. we said. No, you got all the things, man. You got to go big. You're at one health. Yep. Get and these yeah, things off very, my ship. very short for the world. <laughs> Bastion will probably be able to clean him up. You mean 10. Or, sorry, uh, Finn. Oh, sorry. Bastion's yes, yes, Finn. Finn. Way. All right, Jake. Back at him. Yeah, it was smart because if he shoots Jake first, or Jake's only shot is onto Greer, so could potentially kill him. Might with two, two. hits. Uh, yeah, one of it, and that focus wasn't helping him on defense, anyways. Smart to use on offense. 
Rip Greer. Score right now, 73-95. Jeremy's still in it. He's got to keep. He's got to make sure that he gets Jake, and you want to try to play through this turn as fast as you can, so that you can make sure that you have one more turn to try to swing this game a little bit. Yeah, if he can, that the bump uh, Bastion not shooting uh, is rough. Now I'm recognizing that uh, Tin would, how hard Tin would cut in with that hard one. Uh, um, people so are asking be... in the chat, is Ten Nub stressed? Yes, it's just kind of hidden be behind the model. It, it is there though. Oh, he's got. Right there. All right. Only one hit. Yeah, I believe this is in defend. Yeah, and it is obstructed. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Same thing. One hit into a gas cloud fin. He just adds the yeah. blank. You don't even need to roll that. Yeah. There's no reason not to spend this. You don't got any attacks coming in. Two hits. Oh, yeah, that's true. It was stressed. Exactly. And that's... Uh, there, he's got the blank. You're fine. You see. For now. I mean, there's a garbage shot coming in, but... This is very true. It's only, it's only three dice, though. You gotta hold on. Yeah. You're ready. Just put that dice right on it. <laughs> it I was ready. Bad, that, that, that's why I flipped over. I was like, ah, I'm going to wait. Oh, oh, he, oh. Did, did need it. <laughs> did need it. Like, I'm, did I'm shooting better with my wings closed. Uh, there you go. These wings. <laughs> Ooh. Is that just uh, Finn's yeah. shield? Oh. Nice. Crit lands on the shield. Yep. Lucky. Needed those no, nannies he, there. No half points there. Ledrian able to hold on to it. Yeah. Uh, do we have any more shots? Just Finn. All right. Seeing if uh, this will get him close. So I don't think it will yeah. give him a head. 36. Uh, he's hoping for a triple blank. All right. Gets hit crit. Hey, hit crit's pretty good. Triple blank, add a blank, <laughs> re-roll all four. Would have been pretty fun. And uh, that's ooh, it. Ooh, that does it. That. Uh, what's what's so the he's points still on in that? It. 91, 95. Yeah, yeah, there's still uh over a minute left. So that's plenty of time for cleanup. We'll be going into the final round. 91-95. Jeremy is clawing his way back. That's right. Uh, little by little. Yeah, uh, one damage on 10. Could score him some points. That'll be easy to get Z uh, Zari's hard two um, to cut back in and cover. Uh, Tin Dome's not that fast. He's going to be in that arc somewhere. Um, what else are they looking at here? Oh man, this is this is a big game. Okay, so uh, Bastion, uh, Bastion's got to get a shot here. You got to get him turned around. You're I mean, one, was... you're one shield away from half points on ten. Yeah, that's one what shot. you. That's what you. That that wins you the game. As long as you don't take any other damage, you protect Finn. Um, yeah, the protecting Finn from Garvin's one bank left. One bank left actually might hit that gas cloud. Just nick it ever so much. Can, does, does the two? So let close. me let me hide my hand here, just so I yeah, can yeah, do look. Don't want to give any information. Okay, you, you with your hands. <laughs> well, well, I wanted to make sure. Okay, so the two no, hard, I know, I know. the two hard does hit. Uh, maybe does the two hard to the left oh, hit who on, the, the rock? No, uh, for Finn, for Finn, two hard to the left gets you out of Garvin. Okay. Gets you out of Garvin trouble. Uh, you might take a shot from ten, but then. It, Half of Finn is worth uh, significantly less than half of ten, and if you, if you trade those, as long as Finn doesn't die, you win. You just got to make sure that you have a shot with Zari and uh, Bastion. You got you need one. I feel no, like we just it, need one. I feel like it's it's not exciting, but <laughs> I, I feel like you just have to one bank with them. You one, one bank, bank and, you block. You block the 2K, and pretty much anything Tin Nub can get it to do to get a shot on you, 
Fair. And you might actually block Garvin's one bank. I, I don't think you do, though. So you're going to have to be... defend against that. But, I mean, you can, you can add an eyeball. What's well, the strain matter on last round, right? True. So you can block up to three. You have convinced me. One bank to the right. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, like I, I said, it's not even fancy for the sounding, block. but I think it, I think it blocks everything Tinub can do. Um, right. That's that's one of the things that, uh, as newer players, you need to get um, uh, out of your comfort zone and start flying different ships to be able to recognize their speeds and their capabilities. Recognizing that the B wings are very slow, A wing is very fast. Um, and where these like pods and X wings fall in between. Uh, so one of the first things I do uh, when I when we had the the decimator and tie fighters mm -hmm. doing well, put it on the board, figure out figure out how it works. Man, one damage to lead, one damage either way. But uh, half of Finn is way more than, or way less than half of 10, right? 56 to... Yeah, uh, yeah that's what I, I said earlier, yep. Oh, okay, so... Yeah, oof, close game, very close. A 3K. Okay. All right. So he wants to try to get that arc on just in case, but you may have just fed your fin. Unless I... I don't know. It's hard to say what... Uh, it's hard to say what Tin's got planned, to be honest with you. I think this is I Bastion bumped. trying to town roll left. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. Like, that's a good place for your arc. That's where... Uh, yeah, if, if it if Garland it had fit, be, if it fit, too hard. Okay, all right. Man, if Zara can barrel roll, <laughs> Zara can barrel roll. More can I? Uh, I mean, barrel? with a mod, with a mod, I oh, guess. Is, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, Jake. <laughs> Yeah, because, uh, yeah, this is going to be bad if Tin just one forwards and bear rolls out of everybody's arc. Uh, is he going to try to bear roll? He is bear rolling. I see his finger looking at it. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Because if he does the talon roll beforehand, he would be out of the arc. Sure. It's a risky play, but this is the last round, and you're behind that in points. You got to do it. Win condition. I don't know if they know about the points or not. They should. It's last round. And going for the going boost, for the as, boost well. as well. That's so interesting. I mean, a one forward robs you of a shot. I feel like I thought the obvious move of 10 was the 2K, but he's got all the, like, he had most of his dial for options there. Oh, it is just the one forward. Oof. And he gets the block? Okay. Well, Finn's he's, got a he's... shot. There's there's half the problem solved, right? You got red dice on that ship you need to do one damage to. We'll see what uh, Garvin's got planned here. Still didn't open his wings. Okay. He's Interesting. Different. So Bastion, I mean, Bastion would have to take three shields in order to... No, he has to take four damage. So you're, you're fine there. You're fine there. This essentially comes down to, can Finn do one damage to Ten Nub? That's, that's the game. That that's, There's mm -hmm. um, I guess there's a lot of variables, could, but that's... Could potentially that's... kill Finn, but... It's unlikely. Uh. Yeah. Mm 
What's going on, Dion? What's I'm the hesitation? Not sure. I think he's lagging. Um. Yeah, he's at over nine hundred. Yep. So it turns out the one bank wasn't the right decision because Tinnub did just do the one forward to shoot him. Yep. So we were wrong, Neil. Just going to point that out. Yeah, I mean, there are many timelines. <laughs> it's, hard to, it's hard to tell, man. So Bastion takes a strain. Now hopefully, see, man, this is, this is where the awareness of the points. So for instance, if Finn takes the takes a shot on Bastion that is a uh, or on Garvin that's a wasted shot yeah no this is the last round you should check your points with your opponent it's public knowledge of how much you should your ships you're, you're are. right that you should but will they we don't know you should well, that was a range two shot yeah I mean it's it's a it's irrelevant even if he had the three dice because you can you can give up all three shields and still not have given half. So one. Nettie's. That's nice. All right. <laughs> All right, ten nub. It's gonna have a range two shot. No mods. Yeah, it does. He's got a crack shot. Oh, he's got crack shot. Oh, that's bad. Okay, <laughs> that is bad. <laughs> so I if mean, you see, the bearing's already it, winning, but it, he's just got an ninety three. Not today. No. Just one. Just one. So that's still gonna score on points, but. No, those these points are irrelevant because Finn still needs to do the one damage to him in return. Mm -hmm. And got the squiggle. And the crack shot could push through to shot? get the half points. You see that pink line? That pink line means bullseye. If you play on tabletop a lot. Nope, it didn't yep. do it. Here we go. Well, he said those points don't matter. Oh, is he, he's, if, he's talking about shooting, shooting Garvin. No. What are you doing? Through no, a he's gas going, cloud? He's, no, he switched. He switched. Okay, he switched to 10 up. Okay. Hoof. Hoof. I was like, but he only, he only didn't shoot doing? Garvin because he said it was it's obstructed. <laughs> I'm so glad he went right. to 10 I know. I, no, I mean, we have perfect points. Right. We have perfect so. knowledge. Oh, one. Finn gets one. the one. Here we go. Finn. Here we oh, go. It's the one the nice. Game. And oh. that's the win. He just locked wow. it up. He just wow. locked it up. The okay. W right there. Boom. Right. 119 to 95. <laughs> All right. Would you say that shot was kind of a big deal? Hey, I thought I was the one with dead jokes today. <laughs> Oh, man. There's them shaking hands. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into their room here. Give them, give them, chat them up a little bit. That Hello, close, friends. Man. How's it going? Good. All right. How did man, us you, you, rookies do? Did we, did we do yeah. you proud? <laughs> <laughs> there, there was definitely some learning moments in there for sure. There's some learning moments. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, but mm -hmm. man, so this this last turn, Will and I are like super stressing out. Like at one point, uh, Jeremy, you mentioned shooting, um, uh, shooting uh, Garvin, but then you're like, oh, it's obstructed. I'll shoot ten. I was like, oh, thank God, because <laughs> you just you just won the game with that last shot. Oh really? Yeah. If you would have shot Garvin, oh. it would have it would have been a waste. Well, yeah. Yeah, the uh, the points are one nineteen to ninety five. It would have been a waste because uh, he has tight. the 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 hull upgrade yep. on Garvin. Yeah, that one that one uh, shield put him in half, and so yeah, nice job, man. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. Hey, that was great. That was hey, awesome. Was good. Ben. Came down to the last shot, so. 
<laughs> and those are always the best games. <laughs> yeah, I realized uh, in my initial pin num shot, I missed uh, the fire control systems. I should have used that. Um, yep. Yeah, we talked about that. So, hmm. uh, yeah, no, but, it was a good game. Uh, great opponent. A lot of fun. Thanks for uh, having us on, Dion. No problem. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much Thanks. for playing. Uh, you guys are awesome, and uh, we'll talk some more later. Thanks for thanks for playing, guys. All right, man. Thanks, uh, Will. Will right. anything any anything else you want to say to the players before we uh, we we leave them and sign out oh, for today? Uh, oh, we we had uh, some questions um, for you guys uh, about the lists. Um, are these uh, were these factions you guys were familiar with? I'm familiar with Rebels, um, but I haven't you know, flown this kind of combination until this week. But I liked it. It was a lot of fun. I liked the concept of it being just the one, two, three, four. It really made you think about how you're going to put a list together and try to get some synergy between them. So I, I liked it. It was it was fun. And I flew it probably about three or four times this week and against other people and made little tweaks along the way. And this is the final product. Yeah, definitely hit uh, our who's who of uh, rebel pilots that are initiative four. Uh, so very <laughs> smart there, getting the the real action economy in the list. Awesome, cool. Well, um, we'll talk to you guys later. We're gonna head over back to the booth and uh, have a good night, okay. guys.